Essex by George Cabot Lodge Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson One Thy hills are kneeling in the tardy spring, And wait in supplication's gentleness, The certain resurrection that shall bring A robe of verdure for their nakedness. Thy perfumed valleys where the twilights dwell, Thy fields within the sunlight's living coil, now promise while the veins of nature swell eternal recompense to human toil and when the sunset's final shades depart the aspiration to completed birth is sweet and silent as the soft tears start we know how wanton and how little worth are all the passions of our bleeding heart that vex the awful patience of the earth two thine are the large winds and the splendid sun glutting the spread of heaven to the floor of waters rhythmic from far shore to shore and thine the stars revealing one by one thine the grave lucent night's oblivion the tawny moon that waits below the skies strange as the dawn that smote their blistered eyes who watched from calvary when the deed was done and thine the good brown earth that bears its breast to thy benign october thine the trees lusty with fruitage in the late year's rest and thine the men whose blood has glorified the name with liberty in divine decrees the men who love thy soil and fought and died three toward thine eastern window when the morn steals through the silver mesh of silent stars i come unlaurelled from the strenuous wars where men have fought and wept and died forlorn but here across the early fields of corn the living silence dwelleth and the gray sweet earth mist while afar the lisp of spray breathes from the ocean like a triton's horn open thy lattice for the gauge is one for which this earth has journeyed through the dust of shattered systems cold about the sun and proved by sin by mighty lives imperiled a voice cries through the sunrise time is just and falls like dew god's pity on the world in a poem this recording is in the public domain